When parishioners tell us what they value most about the parish, quality liturgy and worship is always high on that list. It takes a team of dedicated volunteers to conduct our services and our liturgy really is the work of an entire congregation. There's many moving parts, or many participants, I should say, to the service. You know, you have the ushers who are really at the back of the church greeting the people, but then you also have the vergers, you have Eucharistic ministers, you have acolytes, you have crucifers. We are all part of the machine, if you will, that makes the church service run. The Altar Guild is a group of people that take care of the altar, work with setting up all the linens, all the vestments, for each service and clean up. We set out all of the wafers and wine for each week's ritual and it's very important that it's done correctly because there are a group of people that rely on the Altar Guild. We try and recruit with people that are involved through the preschools and um, through the volunteer fairs and everyone is always welcome, men and women. A verger here at Good Shepherd and um, the verger is essentially the lay conductor of church services and so the verger has various direct responsibilities during the service you know the, the verger helps prepare the communion is also responsible for overseeing the acolytes the crucifers the priest crucifers and is, is a bit of an in-game manager, so to speak. For me, it's a great way to serve the church and, and feel connected to it. I think also it gives you a sense of why we do what we do. An acolyte is a younger member of the altar party who carries forth the various instruments with which we preach the gospel and the teachings and at times assist other M's or other clergy members with running the service. It's a sort of introduction, if you will, to allow younger people to become more acquainted with the importance and the meanings behind the various ceremonies that we have for the service itself. I have been attending Good Shepherd almost my entire life. When I was in middle school, my grandfather, who was a verger here at the time, suggested to my mom and dad that I work with the acolytes. I was hesitant at first, you know, nervous being such a big, important part of the service. But as time went on and I completed service after service, I grew acquainted with the role, enough that I was able to fulfill a couple of different roles and eventually, after a couple of years, even start teaching others how to do the roles. I've always enjoyed it here and Good Shepherd has taught me a lot. It's introduced me to some great friends and good mentors, so I guess at one point or another, I considered acolyting as my way of giving back to it. This joyful is the since ancient times, um, ancient Israel music has been an integral part of worship and um, has continued to be so down through the centuries. Um, and I think of it not so much as something that adds to the liturgical experience, but something that is an indispensable part of it. Here at Good Shepherd, we offer a variety of liturgical experiences, some more formal, some a little bit more laid back. For example, our 1030 Communion Cafe service, which takes place in the Parish Life Center, uh, features a band led by our very talented Ryan Young. It's a more relaxed, more informal experience. Our second campus, the Woodland Campus, is also a more laid back, less formal setting. Plenty of opportunity there for congregational participation in all aspects of worship on Sunday morning at the Hill. At our 915 early church service, there are plenty of opportunities for young people to be involved in, in that service. Anyone who's interested in our music ministry can find a way to get involved. And uh, they can contact me and I will do my level best to make that happen for them. All you gotta do is ask. We, we would love to have anybody and as many people who are interested in becoming an usher. Um, you know, it's one of the things that we talk about as a vestry is how can we, how can we lower or reduce any barriers to folks in the congregation who want to participate in some way and do what I've been doing is, is serving in, in various roles. 
And, you know, one, I mean, just let any, anybody who is on the vestry or any of the ushers uh, know that you're interested and, and we will contact you and we will, we will make sure that you have what you need and we will get you involved. If there's a desire, then there's certainly a will and a way. There are moments in our services when everything comes together, the words, the music, the participants, and you can feel your spirit lifted to a higher place. Thank you to all the people who make our liturgies possible. We couldn't do this without you.